Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing a little bit with this Lenovo X3650 Model 2 uh, this one and um, I did a video where I upgraded that to have 256 gigabytes of memory we totally filled it up with 16 gigabyte blocks uh, 16 of those so um, it's all full of 16 gigabyte blocks but someone um, asked if it would do 32 gigabyte blocks I don't know but I thought we should try and find out if um, if it will see those blocks uh, the difference is though this is 16 gigabytes dim and they are RD blocks uh, the 32 gigabytes blocks will be LR dims that is load reduced and LR RAM is a bit slower so um, but never mind let's see if it works with 32 gigabyte blocks um, also I was gonna try and install VMware on it and as this server does not have the latest series of processors which for the server which is the Intel Xeon 5600 series it only has an Intel Xeon 5500 series so I will not be able to run the latest version of ESXi which is the 6.7 so I'll have to install a slightly older one which is the 6.5 um, so we'll put that on but let's um, take out the RAM so here it is and it still has a shit ton of RAM so um, we're gonna be unplugging all of these I have powered it off of course so gonna take out this 256 gigabytes of memory I don't think it will be able to take 16 slots of 32 gigabyte blocks but it might take some of it and well that would be nice to know that if it's able to do that so here are the 32 gigabyte blocks it's 4RX4 PC3 and it's 14900L and these are HP branded modules so I'm gonna put in um, one in each of the CPU's banks so I'm gonna put in each CPU's I'm gonna get three blocks uh, the CPU's has three memory banks and to get maximum performance I can only occupy the first bank to get that so on the back of the server there is an explanation of how to put in this RAM. Uh, can we see that? We can kind of see it. It's right here. Uh, if we have one CPU, we put the RAM in in this order. If we have two CPUs, we put the RAM in um, that one kind of uh, the same number of RAM blocks in each of the CPUs, but in that order. So I need to put in a RAM block in number three, six, eight and 11 14 16 so that's what i'm gonna be doing so they have put the numbers for the ram blocks over here and when it's when they're open they're really hard to see but it was number three so that goes in that one there and then it was number six four five six And then it was number eight so that one over here it goes in number 11 this is 9 10 11 and then 14 12 13 14 that one and the very last one number 16 that one I'll put those in it's very easy to mess up the RAM installation on this server because um, you're used to putting in RAM in well slot number one two three and everything will be good uh, but on a server like this the banks are very specifically ordered and you need to put them in the right slots for this to work in the proper way and with the maximum performance and um, so let's um, let's close this up and see if it will even um, see the RAM or boot or do anything complain
around the back here we need to plug this in now. probably don't need the network cables just right away so but we need some power to it there is a power plug there is a power plug then we need our screen and our keyboard there okay let's just give it the network cable it's not gonna take that long to put that in there and we are ready to power on the server okay there is power on the server so i'm gonna power it on i don't think it is done uh, booting the imm so it's probably gonna be noisy yep that's how it sounds when it hasn't completed the the boot of the imm so um, oh we do got we do have something on the screen awesome okay it just completed the imm boot so it has quiet down again um, may I just note that I am actually running my data center off solar power right now um, so this is kind of awesome the Sun has been shining today so I am I'm saving so I'm gonna turn off the camera light <laughs> even though that's not on here but I'm running on solar power oh we got a we got a bad light up here it does certain something is not good so I am let's let's guess memory let's guess memory Oh, we have some memory. It's not good. Configure. See if. Let's see if. Um, let's see what it says. Okay, it has this error, um, and it's not doing anything. I have been waiting a couple of minutes, and it's just. Well, it's just initializing the Wi-Fi, and well, that's not going anywhere. Or at least it hasn't moved anywhere in oh, four minutes and it sh should have it shouldn't take that long so. hmm okay i'm way too honest i think i goofed up here i was taking out the ram and i uh, i i just came to see that well this was not i i had read this as block number nine over here and it's actually number 16 i thought it was upside down so actually number nine is down here and I was supposed to put in a number 11, a number 14, and number 16. So I've done that now. Um, so we're just gonna give this another go. It might not work at all, but let's let's give it the benefit of the doubt and try it once again. Okay, once again we are powering up. Um, nothing yet, but that didn't come before it had completed this the last time either. So uh, there's a slight chance this. Um, We'll fix that issue. Very exciting. There, it's done with that. Let's see what happened. Initializing Wi-Fi platform initialize. Initialization. Crossing our fingers here. That would. No, we get the. You see the arrow over here. I don't think it's gonna do anything. I think it's gonna die right there. Hmm. We're gonna, of course gonna give it five minutes, but you don't have to wait for that. Okay. I have taken out the 32 gigabyte modules and I put in the 16 gigabyte modules and now there is no problem booting so um, yeah I'm gonna start the installation of ESXi here and see if it complains um, about the RAM at any point so booting the installation of ESXi 6.5.0 it sees the 256 gigabytes of RAM uh okay i'll finalize this installation and let's see um, if it still sees it so in the esxi 6.5 version they did actually warn us that the cpus would be uh, not working in the next release so yeah there is that so yeah they did tell us install okay, here it is no problem whatsoever 256 gigabytes of memory in the good old ibm slash lenovo system 
X3650 model 2 and this one is running with the X5570 which is a 2.93 GHz processor. So that kind of clears that up. It's, um, I don't think the server is able to handle 32 GB memory blocks. It's able to handle the 16 GB memory blocks, no problem. It might uh, be the 32 GB memory blocks that I have is the wrong sort or kind or whatever. I really don't know, but they are the only one that I have available right now. So, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Do something else to the servers. Join me over at Twitter and Facebook where I occasionally hang out, replies to questions and, and other stuff. Become a patron and see the special videos that I make for you there. So, and have a really nice day. Bye bye.